back to Teletruan to continue, let us recall the steps in converting the units of measurement in both metric and English system. Step 1, find the conversion factors between the given unit and the desired unit. Step 2, express a conversion factor as a fraction with the desired unit on the numerator and the given unit on the denominator. Step 3, multiply the given measurement by the conversion factor. Step 4, cancel the units that appear in both numerator and denominator. Step 5, simplify and write your answer with the desired unit of measurement. Now, to convert metric units, you may use metric converter. To check your understanding, try to answer the following. Convert the following measurements. Number 1, 5 kilograms to pounds. Number 2, 6,650 meters to kilometers. And number 3, 60 cubic meters to liters. To convert 65 kilograms to pounds, first, find the conversion factor. So we have 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. If 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds or 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram, then multiply 65 kilograms by 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram. Cancel out kilogram because it appears in the numerator and denominator. Now let us simplify. 65 multiplied by 2.2 over 1 pound. What is 2.2 divided by 1? Correct, 2.2. Now we have 65 multiplied by 2.2 and that is 143 pounds. So the answer is 65 kilogram is 143 pounds. For our next example, convert 6,650 meters to kilometers. Since meter and kilometers are metric units, then we shall use the metric converter. All we have to do is to move the decimal point of 6,650 to the left by 3 units. Now we have 6,650 meters is equal to 6.65 kilometers. And for the last, we have convert 6 cubic meter to liter. First, find the conversion factor between the given unit and the desired unit. What is our desired unit? Okay, liter. So following the steps, 6 cubic meter multiplied by 1,000 liter over 1 cubic meter. Cancel out cubic meter. 1,000 divided by 1 is equal to 1,000. Now we have 6 times 1,000 liters is equal to 6,000 liters. So 6 cubic meter is equal to 6,000 liters. I hope you've learned something in our discussion. Again, this is Ma'am Mary Angel Guerrero saying that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. That is from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.